response part we can say um, get user list is fine all right so we know that when we get something sent back with when we change this that we're getting the response that we need okay so there we go get user list is fine so basically we're we're getting the information through ajax and we're doing more than one thing on one page okay i mean on our ajax page now we can split this down a little bit as well because potentially um this this one here this one here can be if we just take this out right this sql here to this bit here right we can cut this bit out and uh, let's just put this up here okay oh, i don't want to do that yet i want to just say function get user and we'll say id up here okay and paste that in and then just knock this over right that'll be fine so we want to um, return the user first I don't want to echo the JSON here I want to do that and then we want to come down just knock out these lines just to tidy it up and return that one there and if nothing else works we're just going to say return null okay on get user so that's then um, here and we're going to say okay so user equals um, get user <coughs> and we've got the ID in there and then we want to um, echo JSON uh, encode then user okay so it should all work exactly the same whoops and just take this line out okay so that's all fine now we've got insert user here so now let's let's take this this bit out here right whoops let's take this bit out here and make it connect method as well so we're missing that there so come to here and we'll say connect that'll do that bit there and we're missing a comma david we're missing a comma david we're missing a comma david otherwise I'll forget okay let's just nudge that over okay that's fine so we now we've got the connect come down here and we can clean this up now so we're slowly cleaning this up okay so the connects and that's fine so insert user uh, now that can be defined and we're going to get rid of these because we just don't need these all right it just seems pointless having having like error messages coming back okay so that's nicely cleaned up now now we, we what we want to have is we want to have get user list okay so make another function say get user uh, list we don't need any arguments for that and the SQL is going to be dead easy <coughs> so it selects everything from um, people order by ID ascending yeah and then query equals MySQL query oops S SQL and we say if uh, query first of all to make sure it's all okay and if mysql num rows query so we're checking to see whether um, the the results which we got um, is equal to more than zero uh, results now we want to say um, people and we're making an array okay and we'll say while so we're going to loop around them we'll say well row equals mysql fetch objects and then we put in the results okay or the response in there in there so now we're saving every single row um, that we get into the row variable and all we're going to do is we're going to say people and because of the javascript i'm not going to add anything as the key okay because i don't want to um, we're going to say people and we're going to add row okay so now we've got all the users we'll loop round it we're all happy and we'll say return people so we're going to return an array of all of the people which we found now otherwise uh, we're going to return null okay because anything else is going to be null let's drop that down drop that down drop that down and that one down and that's fine so select everything from people order by id um, ascending query that one there if my score num rows query is more than one okay that's all fine so now we've got this 
So then we've got people equals gets uh, user list. Whoops. Okay, that gives us the results, and we're going to say echo because we're going to echo out as JSON. Echo encode people, not with a four. I want a dollar sign. Okay, so now this is going to work um, perfectly fine. We can leave this as it is, and well actually we need to load it. And come to the JavaScript to make sure that we're doing this all properly. Okay, so. Um, but first of all, potentially, th that's not get user list. That wants to be done on load. All right, that's one of the first things that wants to be done. So this subscriber change potentially isn't the get user list. That's get user. Yeah. Okay, so that one needs to change because that's oh, that's correct. Okay, this needs to be so I don't um, forget. This needs to be get user. All right. Okay, so that's all fine. So th as soon as the, the document's loaded, we're going to send back this AJAX request to then get this data. Okay, and this data is going to be passed um, into the response text. So I hope that it works. Okay, so my access denied. Uh, okay, because it didn't connect on that. Okay, so that's on the AJAX one. Um, get user list. Uh, we need to connect. That's the only reason because we didn't connect. Okay, let's run it again. Let's run this again. Okay, and as you can see, we've got all the details now in here. Okay, everything that we we requested for has now come back um, as um, as a JSON um, array of text. Okay. Now what we need to do is populate this one uh, drop-down menu with the information. Okay. There's not a lot to do really now. Okay. So now we've got get user list, and it's back in here potentially. So this is where we are. Um, we want to say var people equals then, and we're going to use the jQuery library once again. And we're going to say pass JSON. Okay. And the data is going to part. It's going to pass that into um, an array potentially. Now, uh, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to say use a for for loop for var um, person in people. Okay, and every single person we're going to go through, um, we're going to then populate um, this subscriber here. Okay, and we're going to then use this and we're going to say this here and we're going to say with then uh, jQuery we're going to say append and we'll say var um, option okay let's just use op for now okay and var op, op will be option value equals and let's just do this 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 and we'll say people Let's not say person, let's just say I because it's too much to type otherwise. I dot um, value equals uh, ID. And let's copy this. Okay, that can close. That needs a plus there. And this is going to say then first underscore name plus here. And then open this up and then do this and do this and do that. Okay, so now let's have a check to see whether this works. Okay, if we don't get like a whole bunch of errors, which we probably will. Okay, so for people first name is undefined, yet yeah, naturally it's undefined. If why did I put that in there? Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, and there we go, it's a list of users. Okay, we've got a blank one in here for some reason. Why have we got a blank one? Oh yeah, because we sent back. We sent back, um, we clicked the button without doing anything, so we need to delete that. That's not good. Okay, let's look, come back to here, give this a refresh. Okay, and as you can see, as we do, we get that. Now we can get rid of this subscriber one, because we just don't simply need that. Okay, so now that the page is loaded, we're populating 
um, this one box let's do another page refresh okay just to start it anew okay and now we've got the people so just to be clean and for the sake of doing this properly let's take this okay add another plus add a space and then add another plus and then say surname shall we so it looks good all right and then give this another refresh so we're nearly fine um, finished okay and now we've got each person's name so we can then say David Thorne and as you can see as we said David Thorne we should have got Oh, we got rid of the, the log thing, that's why. Okay, so now as they change, we want the person's information to update on here. Okay, so 